So one of the biggest problems with cybersecurity is how expensive it is. But whenever the last time is that you looked for a new security solution or you were looking for some security training to increase your knowledge in a specific area, you are likely surprised just how expensive it is. Security resources and training is expensive, but it doesn't have to be. And that doesn't mean that security, cybersecurity is a formidable task for your small or mid-sized company. Today, I'm gonna to show you five free security resources to help you build that skill set you need and to gain the knowledge to successfully secure your organization. Before we get started, be sure that you subscribe to the channel and you hit the bell notification so that you get notified when we release future videos just like this one. So resource number one are the 20 security controls from the Center for Internet Security or the CIS-20. The CIS-20 or the SANS-20 as some people know them are a set of 20 security controls that every organization can implement across the board to secure your defenses. These 20 controls are broken into sub-controls that organizations can implement based on their skill set, the manpower they have, the industry they're in, what kind of protected information they have that they need to keep protected. And it is a great resource for any organization trying to figure out how to attack the cybersecurity problem. The 20 controls cover things like creating an inventory of the hardware on your network, the computers, the network devices, the printers, and controlling which devices are able to get on your network so that an attacker's devices can't get on, they also cover, the controls cover things like creating an inventory of the software that's on your network, uh, preventing users from installing additional software without administrative permission. The controls cover things like email and web browser protection, securing email, okay, because we know email is a huge attack vector. A lot of social engineering, phishing e emails come into organizations. And that's how a lot of ransomware starts. The controls cover things like malware defenses, all the way up to penetration testing and auditing. And those are just a few of the 20. And each of these 20 are broken, like we mentioned, into sub-controls that get very granular with guidance on how to implement each of these sub-controls to help you along the way in securing your organization. The great thing about the CIS 20 controls are they are a spelled out roadmap of what, what security controls you should implement in your organization. So often we get asked, what do I do? Where do I start? What do I do next? And these 20 controls, which were actually originally created by the NSA, one of the most elite cybersecurity agencies in the world, as a guidance on, if you do these 20 controls right, your organization will be reasonably secure. CIS has done even more, even more than just those 20 controls. They have benchmark guides. These benchmark guides come for operating systems of all kinds, cloud instances like Amazon virtual servers, Azure servers, Windows 10, all kinds of Linux distributions, Mac OS, and these are hardening guides that will give you specifics, specific controls and um, configuration changes to make on these operating systems to make them more secure and to harden them. So the SIS benchmarks are definitely worth checking out. And the final tool that I wanna point out from the Center for Internet Security, or CIS, is the CIS Cat Light. CIS Cat Light is a resource for you to track the progress of your security program. If you decide to follow the CIS 20 controls, it can take time to get them all implemented. And the Center for Internet Security has put together a web-based tool that allows you to assess your current security configurations, figure out what do you have in place and what you need to put in place, and you can track your progress inside this portal as you go along. The second resource I wanna talk about is the Stay Safe Online or the Cyber Secure My Business by the National Cybersecurity Alliance. The National Cybersecurity Alliance has put together some great resources for small and mid-sized businesses. The Stay Safe Online or the Cyber Secure My Business programs are campaigns that they have created around security awareness and securing small businesses. And they are a group of resources, training, videos, um, templates that you can use in your organization. They include things like security policies, um, security awareness training material that you can take to your employees and train them on the types of scams and the types of attacks that they should be aware of. One of the great resources that they've put together and is available inside this website, which is free and available to anyone, is the Quick Wins Cybersecurity List. 
And this is a list of quick wins related to cybersecurity that you can implement in your organization to improve security very, very quickly. Things like changing default passwords on printers, um, changing default passwords on network devices. And there's a whole list of these. And they're broken into categories around printer security, around email security. And it's a resource you should definitely look into. If you're responsible for security to organization and you are taking a quote unquote CISO role or chief information security officer, you're going to be the one responsible. It can be a daunting task figuring out how to move your security program forward, which controls you should have in place. Um, what is the vision of your security program? What is your strategy going to be? How do you move forward with this? Microsoft has put together some CISO training or training for information security officers, those leading cybersecurity programs. That is a great resource for you to figure out how to develop a strategy, how to develop a plan of action, risk assessments, all of those things that are necessary for securing an organization. It is the CISO training workshop. They are recorded, broken into small subsections that are a great resource for you to figure out the strategy and the overall plan for it for your security program. Some of the modules include um, cybersecurity briefing, security management, how to lead a security team, identity and zero trust user access, moving away from the traditional access and security trust systems to a zero trust model to limit that attack surface and that attack spread when, if something does happen, and protecting information, PHI, PII, inside of your organization. Those are the modules, and then inside of each module, there are videos around a host of topics and links to resources and PDFs that you can use while building out a cybersecurity program. It's a very in-depth training and it is a great free resource for anyone trying to build and lead an effective security program at any size organization. As your security program matures, you're probably gonna to want to begin auditing and assessing it to be sure that your security program actually does what you think it does. And commonly, this is when organizations have what's called a penetration test. They hire hackers, Remember, hackers are good guys like myself. I'm a hacker. They hire hackers to try to break into their organization. That can be via networks. That can be physical access. That could be web applications, web app penetration tests. And the hackers try to do what a bad guy would do. They try to break in and find vulnerabilities. Then they create a report of these vulnerabilities that are found so that your organization can fix them. One downside to a penetration test is they don't always provide a comprehensive assessment of the full security spectrum of your network. A lot of times the um, scope or the focus is honed in on a particular component or the attacker finds one way in and that's the way they follow and they don't try other methods. Uh, and then once the attacker, the hacker, the organization doing this penetration test runs the assessment, they create a report and give you a list of a to-do list basically of things that you need to secure. And your company is working on this to-do list often for many months after this. Um, we see this all the time with our clients. After a penetration test, it takes them several months, sometimes a year or more, to go and implement all the recommendations we've given them. But what if you could work with the security team or you, your internal security team could do an assessment and improve your security at the same time and not have this long to-do list? And that's where purple team engagements come into place. Purple team engagements are great, in my opinion, especially if your organization is just getting started or, or just beginning to mature your security program. You can run a purple team engagement where you have an adversary, a red team, an attacking team or company like myself or our company, run an assessment of specific items that you want to check. As they run the assessment, they are sit down together with your defense team and they will run a simulated attack. Your defense team will see, do we catch this attack? Can we stop this attack? If not, what controls do we have, need to put in place? What configuration changes do we need to make to our SIM, to our detection systems, to our endpoint protection, to our network configuration to prevent that kind of attack from happening? The red team will guide you how to make these changes, then retest to make sure that your new configuration change actually stops it. And then you can move on to the next item. The beauty of this is when this engagement is complete, you have a more robust security program right there on the spot. No to-do list. You don't have a list of things to do for the next six months to a year and your security is instantly improved. 
Atomic Red Team has put together a framework that any organization can follow. You can do this internally. You don't have to hire an outside company to run this assessment for you, although you can. And it is the Atomic Red Team. The Atomic Red Team framework is a list of assessments or mini tests that you can run inside of an organization to test your security and see if your prevention or detection systems catch or prevent them. And if not, you can go and immediately um, begin putting controls or configurations in place to stop them. It is a very comprehensive list and it includes things like bypassing Windows UAC prompts with some common vulnerabilities, um, using cr abusing cron jobs to elevate privileges, hijacking DLLs and Windows. It's a long list of attacks that you can run, simulated attacks on both Linux, Windows, and Mac operating systems to begin gauging your security, figuring out where those holes are that an attacker could use, then begin putting controls and configurations in place to stop them. It is a great resource and a great way to improve the security of your organization. And the final resource I want to talk about in today's video is YouTube. There are a ton of great videos on YouTube. I use YouTube all the time. I'm constantly learning. I have channels that I watch, videos I watch on YouTube. And the best part about YouTube is everything on there is completely free. It's free training. All you have to do is go to YouTube, type in the topic you want to learn about, and run a search. You're likely to get hundreds of results of videos that professionals, trainers have created on the very topic that you need help with. If you're just trying to gain general knowledge about security, maybe you should subscribe to a few channels and as they release new videos, you'll be notified and you can go and watch those videos like we do here on this channel. A few other channels that I recommend subscribing to, taking a look at are the Cyber Mentor. The Cyber Mentor or Heath Adams has created lots of training around penetration testing, um, the red team side of things and some blue team or defense security. Uh, but understanding an attacker's perspective is very important in defending your organization. It's a great channel to watch and subscribe to. Next channel is Black Hills Information Security. Black Hills Information Security, or BHIS, is a security organization out of the Midwest that puts together some great training and security conferences that I've attended, spoken at in the past, and they provide a lot of really in-depth training for free. They've got free courses you can take as well as paid courses. And they do webinars constantly, having guest speakers. And their channel is one that you should check out as it provides a lot of in-depth, up-to-date, practical training for security practitioners trying to secure their organizations. Next security channel is TrustedSec. TrustedSec is another well-known cybersecurity company offering security services. And they do a lot of training, webinars, and they put a lot of videos out on YouTube that are worth looking into. They've created a lot of free tools that you can use, um, the social engineers toolkit, among others, and it's a channel worth checking out. If you like understanding why things work the way they do, not just what you should do, but why certain security things happen or work the way they do, check out Computer File. Computer File does a lot of in-depth videos on specific topics, on things like how AES encryption works, how DES encryption works, how certificates work, and they have a lot of great videos to give you a deep knowledge and a deep understanding of security topics. The final channel I want to point out is Secure Academy. Secure is a Polish cybersecurity company that has spoken and done training at a lot of big cybersecurity conferences um, in Las Vegas, around the world, and they have their own training. They have free challenges and free trainings that they run periodically throughout the year, and they put out a lot of great videos on their YouTube channel that talk, go in depth on security topics, security configurations, how to secure the components inside of your organization. And they have a lot of really great videos. So those are five free cybersecurity resources that you can use to build your skill set, to improve your knowledge, and to help you secure your organization. Be sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you're notified when we release future videos just like this one. And I'll see you next time.